Hey, the barriers, welcome to 14.10. Playing some Nami support with Anilia. Up against a Gen Thresh. Currently playing on my Yellow Decade support account while I'm waiting for the ranked 2 split to start. Uh, so this is. It says Emerald 1, but really it's like a D3, D4 account. It's going to be an interesting landing with Anilia because one of the things I didn't mention in the tier list was the fact that Geo XP got increased a little bit. So getting levels quickly here with having Anilia is going to be, be quite interesting to see how early we hit 6. I'm going to spend a lot of mana here though, having to spend topping up this new year. Um, we will be doing Echo Zahelia into a Dawncore. I haven't had a game yet, unfortunately, on Nami where it hasn't been completely troll. Oh, I thought she was going to commit there. So I haven't got a chance to test it, but Echo Zahelia looks promising now. That it only takes two charges as opposed to three to get the full stacks. Trying to disengage from the threat. Oh no. Yeah, this looks really bad. Yeah, she's dead, I think. Although, barrier diff. No. Almost barrier diff. It's a shame she got hooked there. I don't know if he actually was in that brush or if that was just a bluff. Yeah. Pretty sad start. I'm gonna risk not going boots level one just so I can get this mana charm because this new year is gobbling all of these uh, auto attacks and stuff. I mean, she was already like 40% HP before I actually got hooked. If she managed to maybe not get chunked quite as hard, then we might have won that fight actually. The Vality start already on the gin with boots. Thresh got boots. Luckily, I've still got Flash to maybe get out of something here, but yeah, this is not optimal at, the, at all. We win, yeah. Especially with Thresh missing his hook there. Jarvan is around. Lee Sin's trying to make a play here. Jarvan went in too soon though, I think. That's gonna slow the Thresh from coming in. Maybe we get the heal bounces. We do. Good, good, good. It's gonna say they definitely went in a bit too early there. Okay. That bubble could have been better. Maybe we should. Okay. We could maybe try something here, I think. I think they're probably going to reset. Okay, good job, Sarah. It's a shame I'm not able to get an assist off of that. Oh, he's now in trouble mid. Nilia has flash. Okay. 
Oh no, she leveled. That's not great, actually. She should have just tried to die to the minions there. She should have... Yeah, oh no, Jin would have got the kill. Okay. Hmm. This is definitely a start to the game. What's this? I am fated ashes. Dealing damage with abilities causes enemies to burn for seven magic damage. Like a mini Leandrews. So fight again in the river. I don't want to go that way. Hmm. We're okay. I'm not using my heal just yet. I want to see if we can get something out here. This is pretty big. This should be a triple. Alright, that's massive. They overextended like crazy for that though. And I was just holding on my summoner heal the entire time for like the Zarif. Brand's ult was terrible. It only hit a Zarif the first charge and didn't bounce again at all after that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell they were thinking there doing that. Very, very, very messy game. It's a plate there too, which is like looking like it's going to get away. Kind of want that. Yeah, I don't understand why they went that deep for that. That was kind of crazy. Maybe if Brian was able to get a better ulti like sooner, then maybe I did bubble him. Um, maybe that made all the difference. Like on the lead up to before he used his ulti, he got bubbled, so he's out of range. So maybe that was the diff then. He could be in a little bit of trouble there, doing those grubs. Seraph's landing those ultis. It was a Bizzle death. True. I mean, there is a Bizzle on this team and not on the other team. That is very true. Fresh is my pop. Okay, Lee is uh, Gromp. It's gonna take it easy now then. There's no reason to force anything here. We need to be careful. If we do get hurt, it's going to be really bad. And even disengaging is going to be difficult because I'm not really going to want to use my ulti. Ideally, I'm trying to save that to interrupt Jinnot. Yeah. Like, we knew that Lee was bot side. There's nothing else I could do there as a. That was a very silly death from there, yeah. Like, we knew Lee was bot. There was no reason to go in. down on this bit. Yeah, I need to recall. I'm gonna... She's gonna want to push in this lane. Might as well stay with her for the XP boost. Passive. 
And then I will reset myself, get some wards ready for the dragon spawning in 30 seconds. These wards will be running out soon. Right, at least she got a solo plate. Hey Kony, I'm doing okay, thank you. How you doing? Pretty standard flare then. I think that Zaref is cracked, apparently. The fact that he managed to get a kill there at the end, pretty pretty good. Managed to buffer the W as he was dying. Oof. Well, that puts us at two dragons. Enemy team aren't really interested in the warding around the river or try. This could be bad though. That might just cost me my life there though. Managed to buy nearly a bit of time there. Zeref's about to get his ulti here though. Nice. Nice. Okay. Two for two. I think I did save the Java in there. By blocking that, I think that would have killed him otherwise. Getting ready for your sailing trip, Kony. I hope it all goes okay. Yeah, this fresh trying to do a bit of roaming now. He's changing up his play style a little bit. Yeah, they're being pretty aggressive around this mid lane. I should still help the Zaref out a little bit. We are all tied Even though Brandon put control in that brush. I was going to say, it could be a 2v2 situation here. GH0 STMOON joined the very bush. 40 months straight of living in Bizzle's chat. Bizzle jail, Bizzle jail, Bizzle jail. Hey guys, thank you very much for the 40 month reset. Thank you. Alright, Thresh is up there. Just wondering if we can collapse on this genital. He just literally just put a ward in that brush. Well, we did get bot tower for that. Smolder might end up being a bit of an issue later on. It's got a decent chunk of free farm there. Plus, he's getting turret up there too. All right, let's go get echoes and start prepping up for um. Don't call. Like overall this game's gonna okay. I think there's been a couple of sloppy mistakes, a bit more than if I was playing on my master account, I think. 
like just random you know basic fundamentals of like enemy we see enemy jungle here doing cromp and my ad carry going in it's like it's a bit silly like city mistakes season starts at noon Fifty seconds for another dragon. Lee Sin's bot side right now. Seraph's going to ulti top. It's another flash. I managed to do a nice double bubble full up on the Nilia ulti, but it was into the unknown. Like, we didn't have vision quite in that part of the river. But there was always going to be the chance that there was going to be someone else there to help answer that. We are investing a lot there. I just realized I bought. <laughs> I was going to go um, Dawn Core second item, but now I'm going to do stuff with Flame Water. I uh, got stuck in my old ways by buying a tome. Dawn Core doesn't use tomes anymore, it uses uh, Fairy Charms and a Blasting Wand. Can maybe get a good ulti flank here. I can kind of cut them off. Yeah, they're stuck here now. Got a decent bubble there. Yeah, we're not going to get much more than that. There's no more um, minions. Yeah, I think it's like noon UK time soon, half an hour chat. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do staff. And then try and go Dawn Core third item if the game lasts uh, long enough. Vision around that mid area is looking kind of, kind of bleak. Kind of wait until those minions push out a little bit before we go crazy and start doing more warding. There's quite a few of them top side right now. Kind of pinched here. We should fight this. It's a shame Nilia's not following. Okay. Mindo can block those, right? Um. Brand ulti. Okay, yeah, it's complete mess here. This is such a prolonged fight, too. The 
be Sin's pretty strong. It's on 8-3 right now. Hmm. I don't know if that was good for us at all. Like the smolder. Getting little bits here and there. The brand also. Kind of getting little bits here and there. The late game is pretty scary in terms of small to execute with uh, brand helping a lot too. Lee's able to hold off the game I think until late game if this keeps going on so we'll have to make sure we don't make too many more mistakes like that. Mundo looks unkillable at the moment but a smolder and brand get stronger. It'll be much easier to kill. Another dragon spawning 50 seconds. Would like to fight for that. Where is our team? This is not looking great. Okay, we wasted a lot of time there on that Lee Sin. Him focusing me there. We focused a lot on me there. We should just be able to get the dragon here. Trying to stop that brand from going onto the Mendo. A lot of minions around here. No, Mendo did die. We are getting dragon at least. Okay, stuff of Flame Water and we'll try and get the Dawn Core. Feels like it's going to be a long enough game to get all three items. Start putting wards around the Baron area now. That's the only thing that's really going to get contested, I think, in the next few minutes. This should be okay around here. Don't want to go any deeper than that. Sure as the tides. A thrash is mid. Enemy has no wards in the actual top sides. All oh, starting to get up to scary status. Okay. That Jin died fast. Okay, this Seraph might need help. It might already be too late for him. We actually managed to get out. Just buffing up the Zaref, give him some AP in my E. Wait a minute. We are right there, Jarvan. <laughs> the heels nearly. strong now. Um, I see him a little stronger. Let's buy some control woods. 
Dragon in two. Baron's still up. We should be fighting over something. We could maybe just like not do anything into a dragon and just try and play around Chemtexol. If we lose a Baron, then they get the next dragon, and it means it's just difficult to, for us to do anything there for quite some period of time. Yeah, we'll just prepare for Dragon. Just going for it. I don't really want to put any wards top sides. I don't see the point. Like Zaref is bot right now. He does have teleport, but I honestly I just think we just play for the dragon. I mean, we don't have to force this at all. I think this is a silly move, personally, but interrupt the gin ult. Zaref's now in a good position. Linda ended up being the one getting the Drake. Just go Draken now. This Zaref has been really good at landing his ultis. He's been kind of crazy at that. Okay, let's so hope we're not going to go for Dragon straight away. Could maybe still go after Dragon after doing Inhib. Kind of depends on what the team wants to do. I think I'd personally would rather play it safer. Go dragon. Just putting that controller down there just to have a bit of deeper vision. Um, I want to have a blasting wand in that last slot down. Shame I can't buy a forbidden idol. My people are counting on you. Your team has destroyed a turret. I'm trying up with the team here. We've got super creeps coming down mid, so I will push it out eventually. Hey, Thresh. Quit around. Might kind of consider just ulcing across here. Sure, Mendo's not in position yet. Might want to. I don't know. We could just siege with the Zaref. Oh, oh, no. Let's say we don't actually have to do anything. We just siege with Zaref. And the siege minions. Okay, the ultis didn't bounce. Speed up the Mendo here. Yeah, you got a triple. Yeah, you got a quadra. Yeah, I think a lot of this game just goes down to Zaref. I think Zaref played very well this game. I think at least in terms of Echoes of Hylia. 
I think it's like decent. Like I don't think it's a bad item anymore. I don't think it's like OP. I think if you don't want to go Echo Zahidia, I think that's fine too. But I think like if it's an item that you're interested in, I think the stats on it are, are decent enough just to pick up now, honestly. Um, I'm gonna on the Zerath. I played particularly well. But yeah, I will do the uh the Dawn Core. Hopefully next time I won't accidentally pick up a tome. Um but yeah, it is a very expensive build. Getting those three items on on Enchanter is going to be really, really difficult. I think you're probably going to get it in like 5% of your games where you're going to have Echoes plus Dawncore plus the Staff of Flame Water. It's unlikely that it's going to happen, but I feel like once you get that, it's going to feel pretty nice. The heal should feel really, really good. So I'm looking forward. I'm still going to try and push for that, the, the try factor of items there, because we're already hitting level 15. So yeah, it's already quite... Um, deep. Maybe we'll have to take some kills in order to uh, to try and get that. 